Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and this is Frame by Frame. And I want to say a few words today on deep focus, which is something that a lot of people talk about in films, but um, it goes way back. The Lumiere brothers, who were some of the pioneer filmmakers of the medium, made some of their early films like Snowball Fight and Digging Shrimp and Workers Leaving the Lumiere Factory and other films like that. And basically what deep focus means is it carries all the way from the front of the shot all the way to the back of the shot. In other words, it's in focus all the way from right in front of the lens all the way as back as far as the eye can see. But the person who first really popularized this was Greg Toland. That's two G's. G-R-E-G-G, -E -G -G, Greg Toland, who worked with Orson Welles on Citizen Kane. Orson Welles and Greg Toland were just a remarkable team. They only got one chance to work together, and they shared the director's card on Citizen Kane, which is the only time that I can remember that happening, because his contribution to the film was so intense. One of the most famous shots that uses deep focus in, in Citizen Kane, and there are many of them, is when the young Kane is playing outside the family home in a snowdrift, and the camera tracks all the way back inside the house, and everything stays in focus all the way as far as the eye can see. Or in the final shots in Kane's Xanadu, where the camera cranes up and you see all of the stuff that he's amassed in his life, and the camera again can show you as far as the eye can see. Deep focus gives you a sense of the camera encompassing the world, and used properly, it's a fantastic cinematic technique that you should notice the next time you see a film. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.